So this video is going to take you through how to remove NX. So I've got NX planks on here. Um, uh, NX GX X01. Um, I'm going to talk you through how to remove the cranks, the crank bolt, and the bottom bracket, but also um, the lock ring here. So the tools you'll need is for the bottom bracket, bottom bracket tool that uh, my fits on uh, three eighths, uh, a two mil there, that one, chain link pliers, and an eight mil on a breaker bar, uh, and that's three eighths. So first is we're gonna find the chain link. Mm -hmm. But doing this because obviously you know the cranks off and I feel that it'll be easier. There we go. Don't want to lose the quick links as well. So I've took the cassette off as you can see and I've just put the chain I took the chain off, sorry, not the But just put the chain in there so nothing uh need dirt off the ground but we'll get on it. And then we're gonna start by on the non-drive side there is this lock ring so you see where it says plus there where it's pointing to the right you're going to want to go to the left and there's the bolt and we're going to get our 2mm allen key so i've got my 2mm allen key and i'm just going to loosen it Right, so that's loosened now. As you can see, it's movable. Hold on. There we go. Move it. So instead of pushing it, you want to push it so it's positive. And then you'll feel it click out. Yeah, so now that's slipped and it's gone back in again and it keeps on slipping. So that's what we want. And we're going to go over to this side and we're going to see our 8mm put it in there and I've pre loosened this so it should be easy uh, in the 54 meter meters yeah. now as you can see here there's a washer so I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put that on top so I remember it and then now crank I'm gonna have to give it a tap but it should cool right I think you have to give it a tap no you don't so that's come off now and there's a spacer so you have to take the spacer off before you take the other side off or you know your spacer so let me just put that down there Put a space in there and then that's the crank on and come out there. and I'm just going to clean up the bottom bracket put some more grease in it and um, but I'll show you I don't need to remove my bottom bracket, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. So I've got my bottom bracket tool, and I'm gonna dobby. So it's got to go clockwise, so this way. So non-drive side first, and it's drive side's the same as non-drive side. So there's the cups out and when you install them if you're going to put them back in or if you're first time installing them put some grease on it just a little bit at the there and it'll push it back up so we've got some water ingress there so i'll take the other side off and clean it out and put a new one uh, put some new grease in so i've just installed the bottom bracket again um, I've cleaned it out, the threads, cleaned the threads out, 
and on the frame and I'll put some more grease on it um, and then I'm just going to install the cranks now so uh, I'm going to grease up on the crank and here on the splines and then I'll also put some crank, uh, some grease on the bolt and washer and once I've got the non-drive side in I'll come back So I've installed the non-drive side crank and now I've greased up this the spline here and I'm just gonna make sure that the cranks are straight when I put it on yeah that looks fine to me yeah. Um, I'm gonna put some grease on the nut and install it. So I've put some grease on, and I, I forgot to mention before that I put the spacer um, for the crank on. Mm. So, so I'm just gonna tighten it up. So I've got my torque meter out, tucked it up, and now we just need to tighten the lock ring on either side of the 2 mil here. So you're going to want to wind it all the way in, once it starts getting tight like that, the yep. Like that, and then we're going to want to tighten the bolt. That should be sufficient enough, and there's now no play when I go like that on the cranks. I mean, it is in a work stand, but there's no play on the cranks. Um, so, all I have to do now is to install the chain, and yeah, and the, as you can see, it spins freely. And there we go, chain's back on. Working perfectly.